Hey, what's up, people? Insane Azaria. I'm back with a brand new Let's Play. I'm gonna start playing Fallout New Vegas. This will be part one. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is one of my all time favorite games. Um, yeah. But let's, um, let's jump right into it, right? It's gonna be fun. That new game, this will overwrite your autosave if present. That's fine. I do not have no autosave. changes when atomic fire consumed the earth those who survived did so in great underground vaults when they opened their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies establishing villages forming tribes as decades passed what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. 
where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. God, it brings back so many memories this game um what's all this i've got is that dlc or something how about that whoa easy there easy you've been out cold a couple of days now why don't you just relax a second Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Courier. I'm happy with that. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Looks fine. Um... Yeah. Yep. Yep. I need some facial hair, I think. Uh, let's have a rough beard. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, there we go. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Damn it. And I was kind of hoping it was a race. Oh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay. Strength, fine with that. Deception, fine with that. Endurance, I've got Hardy. Charisma, cheery salesman. Intelligence, gifted. Um, agility. Uh cat like look there we go yeah that's a pretty standard score there but after what you've been through I'd say that's great news well we know your vitals are good but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in a big horn and drop it what do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions see if your dogs are still barking certainly I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Feed. House. Um. Shell. Night. Dream. Bandit. Given the climate, reasonable. Night. Beam. Mother. <laughs> Human shield. Wow. Um. K. 
caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Who are you calling slow? Got a bullet in my brain. What's your excuse? Um. Strongly, I don't know. Sometimes it takes me. Like I'm speaking of in real life. Sometimes it takes me a while. So I disagree. I to deal with my problems head on. Agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see. What looks like two people walking through a canyon, maybe? Um, with possibly, you know, smoke or clouds on either side? I don't know. Uh, chemical okay. reaction. How about this one? Oh, wow. Um, that looks like... I'm not even going to say what that looks like. A ship at sea. Last one. Looks like two Japanese samurais high fiving. I'm gonna say mushroom cloud or bearded man. Bearded man, I'd say. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Energy weapons, medicine, nope. Um, science. Um, I want that and guns, I would say. Yeah, that's fine. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Okay, um, you have a fear of enclosed spaces, probably because of the mutants that live there. You gain one, two special attributes outside, but suffer when indoors. I don't like that. Um, more quickly, but your shots are less accurate. Um... can pick two traits okay trigger discipline i'll have that one you're good natured at heart more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence you gain plus five to bar a medicine repair and science and speech but have no i'm not having that one order no built to destroy yeah all right i guess that about does it come with me i'll see you out okay now just look around first in your fine apartment or house you've got here Oh, bottle cups. Take the stim pack. Purified water. Pork and beans. Cram.
I was trying to grab the knife. Um, sugar bombs, nine millimeter uh, and five point five six, if I remember rightly. Nope, it's not. Um, got one of them right, I guess. If anything else, I can deal off you. Isn't there a magazine in here somewhere? Um, cigarettes. I'm sure there's a magazine in here somewhere. Not in here. Baseball. Oh, there it is. Leave it alone. Sunset sarsaparilla crate. Take that sarsaparilla. I think. <clears throat> Anything else I've missed just before I go? Medical brace. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find an extra kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. <laughs> Never was much my style anyway. Yeah, I don't think it'd be my style anyway. Um, well, thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I will try. Thank you, sir. Wow. Weapons, blah blah blah. All right, I know this by now. Um, steady caravan shotgun, equip that. <clears throat> Lightweight metal armor. Thanks for digging me out of the grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me anyway? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know those men who, uh, attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. 
I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Okay, I will do. Um, thank you and uh, goodbye. Enjoy your rest of your Happy day. Trails. Open one as Arsenal. Folded. There we go. Um, so the Prospector Saloon is this place on the right, right? Here. The boy picks up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Dead money has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Okay. What are these called? Again. Tumbleweed. That's the one. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. I will do that right now. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. No problem. Let me change this weapon first. I want Cheyenne as a pet. How is she running so fast? Hey, hold up, lady. Been shot in the head. Too much physical activity after, you know, a trauma like that. Taking me. I think we've crossed states. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Um, I can't be bothered moving quietly. Graphic. What the hell? Tumbleweed. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. 
Yeah, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Isn't the uh, isn't there a lady down here that you can help? I think. Yeah. like you done i'd be a goner for sure i came up here to draw water but here you should have what i got you look thirsty thank you you didn't need to do that appreciate it though accepted already in good springs wow now that was some good work even got a little exciting there at the end here's a little spending money for the trouble one more thing i wanted to show you thought i might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself interested couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Of course. Oh, there's a graveyard up there. I'm right in thinking as well, there's a, um, a rad scorpion on the hill up here, if I can recall correctly. It's been so long since I played this game though. Drift past the um, balloon there. The hell? What? Where'd that shooting come from? Was that Victor? That's. I think Victor shot the scorpion. Yeah, Victor shot the scorpion. Oh well. There's me the job. Hello, little butterfly.
Ama... It just fell through the floor. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Wow. That was funny. Um, there's the... Rock flower. And I know there's a snow globe around here somewhere. There it is. They go for two two K a pop, by the way. Um two thousand bottle caps once you get to the strip. I think it's two thousand. Could be five hundred, I'm not sure. Um and then I need to go to the schoolhouse, which is There. Okay, so I've decided in this playthrough, I'm not going to fast travel anywhere. I'm just going to, you know... Play the game out. The way you would do, just, you know, walk everywhere. Oh, there's, um, there's that lady I rescued. She must live here. Big corner there. In the mailbox. Salesman Weekly, nice. <laughs> Any more of these critters anywhere? Well... I forget where that, um... Xander route? I think it's Xander route, right? A bit round here somewhere. Yeah, it's here, I think. Not jalapeno. Where the hell is a Xander? Um. Oh, here it is. I mean, we may as well go in here, right? I know there's a... Um... Oh. 
That's all them dead, I think. Yeah. Wait, you can get some mantis eggs in here, I think. Oh, maybe not there. Now, I think there is a magazine somewhere. Oh, yeah, Programmer's Digest. Oh, there's another magazine here. Salesman Weekly, Weekly right there on the floor. I didn't even know about that one. Nuka-Cola truck. I don't know why I would want one of them. Useless. Don't need it. So, I'm going to try and hack into this terminal. In a minute. Bobby pins. Box of detergent. Toy car. You could call a truck. And what's in here? Nothing. Oh, there's another programmer's digest right there. Bobby pin. No. Oh, I can. Nice. Bottle cap, beer, Nuka Cola, Stealth Boy, Super Stim Park, Menta, Menats, or whatever they call Mentats. See if we can hack this just for the experience. Error. Oh, I must have shot it. Yeah, I must have shot it when I was um, fighting these um, creatures. Cherry bomb, coffee mug. Uh, plus. Um, let's get out of here. Well, I was alive then. Alright, so I need to go that way. safe what is that no it's not safe save it real quick just in case it crashes or something because this game really does take its toll on your system. Takes its toll on itself sometimes as well. Um, not the best graphically, but story mode, second to none. Isn't there a spade here? Yeah, I need that spade. You can use spades to dig graves, by the way. Um, you get stuff out of graves. In case you didn't know. That looks like ore of some sort. Jump! What is that? Whiskey bottles. Oh, I'm not even meant to be here. I'm meant to be over here. All right. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these... All right, now. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Healing powder. Accept. Hey, that's there we go. Bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. 
Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, I'll be sure to pop my head in. I'll do it right now. Um, yeah. Barton Fawn, who are you? Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. I feel like you're trying to stitch me up, mate. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. They're at the top of the trail? You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. You don't seem like you're in a hurry. Go up the path. This is weird. Has it not got any malicious miscellaneous? Never Who are you? Gets old when something blows up. Oh yeah, powder ganga. Go up the trail. Oh, screw that guy. I did I don't trust him anyway. Seemed a bit dodgy. Just happened to be powder gangers there, you know what I mean? What on earth? Oh, it's a can. I wonder, is it called Good Springs because it's got a good water supply, like over there? I don't know. <laughs> Prospector Saloon. Um... And I go. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Keep walking, sir. You've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What was all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. 
Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Yeah, sounds like a very American thing to do. To give, you know, convicts dynamite. No offense if you're American. <laughs> Never mind, I want to talk about something else, please. Alright. Um... What happens if I, if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, oh, wow. helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Um, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they was going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Yeah, I think that area's got death claws. Um, so where, uh, where are they heading? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east, take Highway 93 up. Um, want me to look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I wouldn't know. I can't listen to it because of YouTube. Um... Anything interesting going on in the rest of the, 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 the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me about the NCR. California NCR. Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Um, tell me about Slavers, the re killers, Legion. killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on. And that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Do you know that the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do around you? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. 
Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Okay, so Victor told me 10, 15 years ago, and she's telling me that it was seven years ago. Something's up with Victor. Something's up with him. Um, never mind, let's talk about something Bye, else honey. anyway. Um, does Good Spring get well, many it's visitors? It's mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Why do you think the NCR and EG, the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Um, tell me what you Got have for sale. Discount for you after what you've done for us. I haven't even done much, to be honest, lady. But uh, thank you for the discount. Um, you can have that beer. I don't want that. Uh, can have the cram. I stole it anyway. Jalapeno pepper, yours. Pork and beans, yours. Sugar bombs, yours. Um, Zanderu, yours. <clears throat> I don't know why I have bleak for them. Do you have any impacts, maybe? Nah, I didn't think so. Okay. That should be it. Another satisfied customer. Be careful out there. Um, I mean, I've got to repair the radio anyway, so let's, um, no, nah, because I need explosives for the dynamite from Dynamite Pete, right? Or whatever his name is. Dynamite Pete, oh, easy Pete. Um, continue. Whiff learner. Lady killer, confirmed bachelor. Intense training. Um, retention, perk, the bonuses you can, uh, three times as long. I got a swift learner perk. I'll come back and do that another time. <coughs> um, yeah. Anyway, on that note, people, I will catch you in the ne next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, um, leave a like, um, subscribe, and um, comment. Comment below. Um, I will appreciate it. Um, Later.